about the whole great hunt thing. Thanks. It means a lot to Brayden that you stuck with it. I think Brayden would say that I didn't win this without your help. You don't have to tell me how awesome I am. I already know. It's my moment of humility. Just run with it, okay? Great Hunt was Brayden's dream. Talked about it for years. The day he told me he'd found you. Should have seen him. Grinning and laughing so much, I thought his face would split in half. It's not exactly every day you get a shot at the Great Hunt. Winning this thing? It would have meant more to him than revenge. So I'm gonna skip saying thank you again because you get the idea already. Let's just get moving. Seriously, nobody on the entire Holonet has anything better to do than gossip about you. I mean, at first some of it was true, but now they're just trying to outdo each other with crazy stories. Last I heard, you weren't a 400-year-old Wookiee Jedi Master. There's a lot you don't know about me. Maybe I'm in disguise. <laughs> that explains so much. You know, Brayden used to say I was unique for having this holonet link. But I have no clue how I got it. I've had this implant forever. Parents must have had me teched out as a baby. Who does that? Maybe they were thinking about your future. That's hard to imagine. The parents who abandoned me, thinking about my future. Brayden was always encouraging me to look for my past, and... I figured, street kid from Nar Shaddaa, what's to know? Now, gotta admit he was right. Something weird there. Least you can do for the old man is honor his wishes. See what you can find out. You're right. I, I owe this to Brayden. I'll check into it. Thanks. Really, I appreciate it. Word spreads fast. Whole hole in it's in shock about what happened. Bloodworthy dead. Defenestrator dead. No one can believe it. No one's shedding any tears for Jewel and Nightbringer, though. The sooner I get my hands on that Jedi, the better. We'll find him. So, I looked up the manufacturer of my implant? Weird stuff. Exclusively government contractor. Everything on this model is classified. Guess your parents had plans for you. Maybe following in their footsteps. You think they were SIS? Whoever my parents were, they got their hands on one mother of a top secret gadget. Don't know what that means yet, but I intend to find out. Mandalorians really weren't kidding about wanting Jick and Kadera out of the way. There's all kinds of celebrating going on. At least I think that's what they're doing. Sort of hard to tell celebrating Mandalorians from angry ones. If someone's getting shot, they're angry. I'll keep that in mind for next time we meet Mandalore. So, I've been wondering what kind of people put classified government doodads in their kids' heads. Figured there had to be something in the official records I could dig up. Don't leave me hanging. Nothing came up in official channels. Means I probably wasn't born on the smuggler's moon. But I figure someone on Arshadah's gotta remember them, right? Just have to keep asking. You must have some notion who they were. No, but I like to imagine they're smugglers, tragically shot down hauling a cargo of illegal gizkas. Been talking to some people. One of my contacts just had some guy in Arshadah asking about me. Exactly what's he want to know about you? My contact says the guy practically screams spook. He's asking about my whereabouts. Goes by the name of Carteri. The spook, not my contact. I think we have time to pay him a visit, don't you? I'm not leaving him loose to come after us. We'll deal with him soon. Alright, then we have a plan. Coral, well, this is a surprise. Never thought you'd just turn yourself in. Okay, first thing, my name's not Coral. Second, what are you talking about? Right, of course not. I suppose you're just here for a friendly chat then? Nobody's gotten shot yet. I think we can have a nice conversation, don't you? Right, I'm feeling the love. I can imagine what she's told you, Hunter, but you're being played. She's anything but a helpless little girl. Your intel is worthless. This isn't Coral. 
Assuming I buy that, what do you want me to do? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you could tell me who Coral is and who sent you. Let's keep this short, shall we? I don't want anyone seeing us and reporting this. And I'm not stupid enough to draw on you. Here's everything I was given on my target. Take it and go. Data pad's encrypted. See if I can crack it later. This thing... she... really does look like me, huh? Looks like you've got family. Maybe I do. I'll see what I can find out. Guess I have plenty to keep me busy for a while. We should get going. That new armor? How do you manage to make Durastil look good? If I wore that, people think I strapped on a shipping crate. Wearing this stuff drives men crazy. You need a flamethrower to keep them away. I don't know. They probably like the flamethrower, too. I've seen the way they look at it. Anyway, we've got things to do, people to hunt. That guy, Carteri from Narshada, remember him? Doesn't exist. We met him, so he's real. Fake identity? I don't know. I'm not sure he wasn't a hollow, or maybe a bunch of Minox in a human suit. I can't find out anything about him. Nothing. If there's any intel on this guy at all, you'll find it. I hope you're right. You know what's weird? The more I look at that holo of coral, the more it makes me think. If I've got a sister, what else have I got? Aunts? Uncles? Cousins? Maybe I've been missing family dinners for my whole life. Could be a bunch of people wondering where you are right now. Think so? Probably all twerked at me. That Mako, she never calls, she never writes. Still, I've gotta wonder, how are they connected to SIS? Something I need to figure out. You know SIS computers? <laughs> Way easier to slice than I thought. Which is sort of worrying now that I think about it. Did some poking around in a few classified Republic databases. Found my birth certificate. Well, uh, maybe. Found a dozen birth certificates, all with the gene stamp a lot like mine. A dozen is a lot of targets. Doesn't tell us where to start looking. Well, no, it doesn't, but it's still a great find. My family's records. It's gotta be. Parents, siblings, maybe grandparents, who knows what else. Uh, no names or dates, though, just an SIS project number. 32. I have to keep looking, see what else I can find. Remember the SIS project number I found? 32? Turns out if you search for it in enough super-secret Republic databases, it gets noticed. Ran into a little, uh, trouble. Like, if I keep doing this, the chance of mysteriously disappearing goes up dramatically. Sort of trouble. I know you want to find out where you're from, but it's not doing Brayden's memory any favors if you die. I'm actively working on the not dying thing. No worries. Figure there are other, less hazardous channels I can look into. I'll, uh, let you know if I decide to do anything stupid. Or, more likely, let you know after. Remember how I said I'd avoid SIS databases for the time being? Decided this was a good time to take a crack at the encryption on that SIS Creep Carteri's datapad. The encryption is crazy. Someone threw a solid wall of credits into keeping this thing secure. Anyone goes to that much trouble to keep a secret? It's gotta be something serious. That's the scary part. I mean, I'm seriously getting the creeps now. What's my family involved in that's worth this kind of money to the Republic? Whatever they're hiding could be pretty messy. Whatever it is, I've got to find out. Anyway, th thanks for listening to me, Babel. Much appreciated. Yes, I guess, just throw their ciphers a party with clowns and a juggling bantha. Stupid datapad is impossible to decrypt, but not all is lost. Found a holo address for Coral, I think. I mean, it could be her. I sort of wanted you around when I called her. I've got your back, Mako. Call her. What's the worst that can happen, right? It's not her, or it is her, and she instantly hates me. Not a problem. Right, it's nothing to worry about, it's just a stupid call. Hello? Hi. Coral? It's Coral, right? I I'm Mako. Mother of... M Mako? 
My little sister Mako? I, I can't believe it. I thought... I thought you were dead. How did you find me? Wasn't exactly easy. I, uh, ran into an SIS guy looking for you. Isaac? The SIS agent? Was his name Isaac? I don't know if it's weirder that you're being hunted by multiple agents, or that you know them all personally. Oh no. Uh, Mako, you've gotta help me. Please. If you're gonna tell me SIS is after you, I already figured that out. Cardri's just one of the agents after me. Isaac's the one leading them. If he finds me... What? What's he want you for? I've gotta go. I I've been on this channel too long already. He's on Drum and Cos looking for me right now. If there's anything you can do to stop him. Wait, Coral, what's going on? Why is he after you? They're already trying to trace my location. Uh, I have to go, please. You're the only hope I've got. What is it with people never answering my questions? She's your sister. We can look for Isaac if you want. Your call. Let's go to Drum and Koss. Hold it right there, Coral. For the love of- I'm not Coral! Don't do anything stupid. We should wait for Isaac. Are you crazy? What are we supposed to do? Ask her to just behave herself? I'm just saying Isaac will be here soon. Let's not jump the gun. Uh, hello? Guys, can we talk for a minute? Maybe Isaac will get here soon, or maybe he'll decide to stop for lunch first. We don't exactly have a lot of options here. Starting to look like you got all the brains in your family, Mako. No kidding, am I invisible? I should have shown up dressed in a Wookiee costume or something. Someone is gonna answer me this time. Hey, girls! Over here! Look out, she's attacking! Trouble on the way! Sorry, did you say something? I'm sort of half here, I'm not feeling so good. I keep seeing those dead girls. My sisters, I just feel queasy. Anyway, sorry, um, did you need something? I'm here if you need me. Thanks. Can you cure a massive case of being freaked out? I don't exactly know how to get over seeing myself. Or two of me die. And you know the worst part? Coral didn't tell me, didn't say a word about other sisters. Definitely plenty of Makos around these days. One identical sister was sorta neat. Three is weird. Trying to kill me? Creepy. Let's get moving before I get even more weirded out. What is it they say about curiosity again? Does it involve lavish paid vacations? <sighs> Maybe Trando Shawnee flatcakes? So, I may have gone back into the SIS computers. Just a little. SIS probably won't mind at all then. Seem like real understanding guys. Sure. I mean, what could go wrong? Remember how I said I found birth certificates for my family? A dozen of them? Well, I found out that ten of them also have death certificates. Sounds like SIS is doing some cleanup. Cleanup? Like they were all dirt someone tracked in? I guess it's just me and Coral now. Well, on that cheery note, let's move on, huh? Got a few minutes? Maybe you could give me a few pointers on my pistol technique. My time is yours. Say the word. How about now? Because actually, I just wanted to show off. I've, I've got a new shot and I can't wait for you to see it. In fact, I'm sort of looking forward to seeing it in action myself. So what do you think? Ought to try it out on a real target, I think. Couldn't have suggested better myself. Let's move. I kind of want to shoot something now. Remember the guy Coral said was after her? Isaac, the one we were supposed to stop on Drum and Koss? Target didn't show up. 
Hard to forget that. Everything else is sort of dead-ended. I thought maybe I'd try to see what I could find on him. He's SIS, no surprise there. So there's not much to find. Except for this. He's assigned to Project 32. The same project all my relatives seem to be associated with. I think we could have guessed that. Yeah, it's not exactly a huge revelation. Searching for his name tripped all kinds of security, so... Don't be surprised if a lot of uniforms are looking for us. I think I might take up a new hobby for a while. A safer one, like, uh, neck suit grooming. I feel like watching my back through another scary holo call. I survived the last one, but this... might just get me. Remember that data pad we got from Carteri about a million years ago? I cracked it. I got a holo frequency from Isaac, Mr. Project 32 himself. I can't do this without you. Let's see this guy. Want to take bets on whether he's 10 meters tall and breathes fire? <laughs> right, quit stalling, Nico. What's this? Okay, before we get started, let's set something straight. My name is Mako. M-A-K-O. Got it? Call me Coral, and so help me, I will find a way to punch you through the hollow net. Mako? Well, that's a name I never thought I'd hear again. You're the first person who didn't insist she was Coral. I can imagine. Mako's been presumed dead for 20 years. No one was expecting her to turn up now. Unfortunately for both of us, I don't have much time for conversation at the moment. I think it might be in your best interest to talk sooner, rather than later. Normally, I'd agree with you on that. My team has pinpointed Coral's location, finding her is my priority. Hey, go, a word of warning. This isn't the life you want. Whatever happens, stay away from Coral. Why? What do you want with her? What did she do? She's killed most of the people involved in Project 32. I can only assume she'll try to kill you too. She's gotten almost everyone else. She wanted you to fight those girls on Drum and Cos, Mako. Got what she wanted no matter who won. That low-down, motherless rancor. I mean, I, I knew it was fishy, and I walked right into it. I'm such an idiot. Mako, I'll contact you after my team's taken Coral into custody. We have a lot to talk about. Isaac, out. I'm intercepting all his outgoing transmissions. Looks like, yes, I have the coordinates he's sending out. Gotta be where she's hiding. That's exactly what I was thinking. I've downloaded the coordinates to the NAV computer. Let's go pay my sister a friendly visit. Hey, sis. Long time no see, huh? Mako? What are you doing here? How did you find me? Met some of our sisters. It was real sweet. Heartwarming, you might say. How oh, about that? I should have warned you. We already know you set us up. I didn't set you up, I swear. Project 32 is trying to frame me, Mako. The others were in on it. Help me slice his computer. If I can erase my records, I can just disappear. Nobody else will get hurt. Please. I've got two words for you, Coral. Bantha dung. You used me. You wanted Isaac dead. You wanted the other girls dead. Quit pretending to be the victim. Funny how that wasn't good enough. Oh yeah, hilarious. I might bust a gut laughing about this later. Well, Coral, you have anything else you want to say before I watch Isaac cart your sorry behind out of here? So I set you up. So what? You don't matter. Neither do the others. None of you are even real people. I'm real. You think I wanted to be part of a set? Would you want that? I'm not like the rest of you. I'm unique. You're not even a person. You all right? Trouble on the way. matter. Nothing you do matters. Even if I die here, you won't be real. 
You're just a cheap copy, Mako. She hammers a lot for someone who's just been totally beaten, doesn't she? SIS can pick her up. Don't know about you, but I've had my fill of crazy. Me too. Let's hope it doesn't run into the family. Mako? Is that you? How did... Nah, that's a stupid question. We'll take call from here. I guess we should thank you. Are you alright? I don't know what you guys are gonna do to her, but I have a hunch she deserves it. The stuff she said about being a copy... What do you think that was supposed to mean? You letting her get to you? I don't know. I feel pretty surreal right now. We're moving out. Mako, we will have to talk later. Let's get out of here, okay? I want to be as far away from this place as possible. You know what? You're okay. I'm glad to have you around, Mako. When Brayden first talked about you, I don't know what I expected, but whatever it was, you're better. What I want to say is, you're awesome, and if you were lost in the same sector, I would definitely give you directions. And if someone put a bounty on your head, I'd shoot them for you. You wouldn't collect on it first? That's really sweet of you. Alright, anyway, you get the point. Let's get back to work.